Good morning to all the galaxy of uh, dignitaries over here and the galaxy of the fortunate ones. Why fortunate ones? Because as Pritji Bhuvan Parisha said, we are the people who are the people who are the people. And we are the people who 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 are the people. Believe me you, I will come to the point why and how we chose to be a part of this project. So uh, this is our club, Proti Club Pune Airport. We are about uh, 32 years old, a small club, but we always uh, think big and do big things. This slide is known to all, but why I am showing this slide is, there is a one sentence or a particular word which touched everyone's heart and struck the right chord. Everyone talks of women empowerment, everyone talks of girl empowerment, but this said daughter empowerment. That word daughter appealed to all. It appealed to me also. Even I have two daughters, like other dignitaries have two daughters. I think one thing very soon will have another district of father, uh, parents of daughters, I suppose. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be a part of this. So uh, when I walked into the hall here, I met my new uh, old friends who are all PDCs here. They asked me, how come you are here? Nice to see you are here. True, because I am appearing on this local platform for many years. I have taken a back seat and was allowing the new leadership to come forward. But the word daughter's empowerment, the passion with which this rotator uh, could be BYD and this couple is doing it, and the kind of sponsorship which GKPL has given it, it really inspired. A person like me who was taking a back seat, a person like me who was a little stagnated, who got re energized. Rejuvenated with the subject and the kind of work which has been put in. A lot of heads and hands are put behind this project. I'm sure a lot of heads, I'm telling you, because the kind of work which I saw right from the content of the materials, the video or the books, and it is not just making a video or just a book, it is the best book and the best video, the content wise, material wise, presentation wise. So it it talks a lot about uh, how Rotary works and what they would like to present, what they expect from the partners like us. So today we are proud, we are a little hesitant whether to do or what to do. This is one of the main reasons why we chose and of course as a business mind what to come for as Anil just said, you give one you get four, but benefit more than four. These are the things which uh, we uh, chose and of course the secret, is unofficial secret which I would like to share that we thought that this is a perfect opportunity as a Rotary to take up this project because you work only as a catalyst. We don't have to do much because so much work is already done by these people. We know that work has been done, we know that the work has to be passed it on to the beneficiaries. We stand in between as a catalyst to bring these two things together and it made so much easier for us to take up this project. We have to just do the facilitation center. So identifying the uh, beneficiaries is one big task. So we thought that after pandemic, everyone was locked up, they need to be uh, brought together. So we chose first an orphanage. So this is an orphanage uh, in the campus of Anjumri Islam School. There are about 3,000 students in the campus, but we didn't go to all 3,000 students. First we went to the orphanage where the girls have been uh, uh, hosted there because this project can be monitored, controlled and administered well with the help of the rectors and the organization. So it made us so easier because they will be given the vitamin tablets every day morning after the breakfast. As and when required, they will be given the sanitary pads. As and when required, they will be given the sprays and books will be available to all of them. So we thought it's much easier and it worked very well. We didn't stop here. We also went ahead and chose their other uh, students. They have polytechnic, they have college, they have uh, different language schools and uh, certificate courses. So uh, we thought that instead of circulating the pads to just make groups, groups of 5 or 10 years, we can make a big presentation. So we arranged the presentation in this manner in the hall and these are the girls students we uh, got together to benefit and uh, this is how the distribution took place uh, in all this group. 
So we identified two locations. One was this Junior uh, Stamp School campus, where there were 3,000 students, but we uh, benefited about 300 plus uh, students over there. And the other school called St. Andrew School, Girl School, where they also have a residential school as well as uh, a school for those uh, unfortunate or less privileged girls over there. So these are the two identified locations with uh, over more than 504 students who benefited like exactly like precisely like in 30 like days. We started, we got all the materials by 5th of March, 7th of March we inaugurated, we launched this project and 7th of April last day we completed the project but we feel that we have still have not done justice, we want to do more and more and more. But are we going to stop here? Is it what we can do and we did it? It's not enough. We are not going to stop here. The project will be complete only after giving the follow-up of that. What is the follow-up? So we formed a sale of a few lady hotels and uh, ants together. We will keep interacting with these beneficiaries with the, they understood the entire concept of this asmita, the purpose of asmita, how they have benefited, if they need any help. Everyone, see most of the girls feel shy, they don't open up unless they talk one to one. So we are going to have these mentors and counsellors who can talk to them, they need to be talk and understand their problems and try and solve the problems and take them to the right solution. This is what we are uh, planning to do and uh, thank you once again GTPL especially and Big for giving us an opportunity to empower our daughters. Thank you.